What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am super excited to show you a new front end for the Raspberry Pi. Now what you see on screen right now is running on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and I have it in the Retro Flag Mega Pi case. This is called Blast 16 by Tripware. As of making this video, this front end is specifically tailored to Sega consoles like Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Sega CD, 32X, and Game Gear. But hopefully later on down the road, the developer adds some new consoles in here because this, in my opinion, is the most beautiful front end I've ever seen running on a Raspberry Pi. I will leave links to the download in the description. And as you can see here, I do have some games that do not have box art. And I left those for a specific reason. I want to show you one of the features that's built in that I really enjoy using with this. So this is very easy to install. You're going to flash to an SD card just like you would any other image for the Raspberry Pi. You can transfer your games and box art over USB very easily. Like I said, link for this will be in the description. They get a full website with a full write-up, and we're going to go over that in just a second. But first, I want to show you some of the awesome features built in here. So as you can see, it's a very smooth front end here. If I press start on my controller, we have settings, general, and emulation. We'll go to general. We can change the language, logo. This is an awesome feature here. So we have the Brazilian Mega Drive logo, USA, Japanese, and Europe. I'm going to go with USA. We can turn the music on or off. I'm going to turn it off for this video. Emulation. Auto load. Core, Genesis Plus GX. We have some scaling options, some filter options, scan lines, TV filter, RGB, S-Video, composite, monochrome, or off, and frame. This is basically the bezel when you're playing a game. I'm going to leave it here to the Blast 16 purple. Next up, input. Input mapping. We can go in here and map our controller. I'm using the 8 bit wireless M30 controller. Multiplayer config, connect gamepad, reset Bluetooth cache. Tools, delete games, and this is really cool. So we can delete them right off the SD card. I'm going to go in here, and I have two here that I don't have any box art for. Down at the bottom, tells you everything you need to know. We're going to press C and C, because these are the two I want to delete. I'm going to delete the games. It's going to do a little quick reboot, or a refresh. And now, those games are gone from here. You can add a ton of games in here. I just wanted to throw this together real quick. We'll go back into the options because there's still more here. Under Tools, Backup, Restore, Resize Box Art, Open Retro Arch. So basically it's using Retro Arch behind the scenes and it's going to perform just like Retro Pi or Recall Box running on a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Help, you can scan the QR code to go to the website. Credits, Reboot, Shut Down. Another awesome feature is adding this to your favorite. So if I press C here, Altered Beast is one of my favorite games of all time. Gunstar Heroes is also another great game. And we'll just do Batman Forever. If I press up on my controller, these are my favorites that I've tagged. So we have a little section for favorites. And every once in a while you'll see that little star spin, which is a cool little addition, I think. And by the way, this does support up to four quick save states per game. So overall, Blast 16 is going to allow you to build a Sega Genesis Mini very easily. And I would suggest the Mega Pi case from Retro Flag and the Bluetooth M30 controller from 8BitO. That's what I'm using here, and it works perfectly with this setup. I am planning on doing a full setup tutorial. It'll be coming up on the channel very soon, so keep an eye out. But I do want to move over to the website because it's fairly easy to set up and all the information you need to know is there already. So if you're ready to get this installed on your Raspberry Pi, all you have to do is head over to their website. So like I mentioned, to get this set up, all you need to do is flash it to your SD card. You can go to downloads here from their website. Link will be in the description. But one of the main sections you need to know about is the user manual. This will also come in the downloaded SD card image that you get. Everything you need to know to set up Blast 16 is in this user manual here. This supports Mega Drive, Genesis, Sega CD, Mega CD, Mega Drive 32X, Sega 32X, Master System, and Game Gear. Uses RetroArch as the back end. Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive cores are used here. 
recommended hardware, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, M30 Bluetooth controller, Retro Flag Mega Pi case. Now I'm going to leave all links in the description. You can get this stuff for pretty cheap on Amazon in case you want to build a mini Genesis before it actually launches. Menus explain. I mean, like I said, everything you need to know is here. Shows you how to set up your game directories and your box art directories. It's very easy to get this set up and running, and it's the most beautiful front end that I've ever seen running on the Raspberry Pi. I know some will disagree with me. Some people love a track mode. Some people love emulation station. But I'll tell you what, if Tripwire adds more supported consoles to this front end here, this is going to be my go-to for Raspberry Pi emulation. Hands down, this is beautiful. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I wanted to get this out of the way real quick before I did a full tutorial. I know some of you will be very interested in that. If you want to build a Raspberry Pi powered mini Sega Genesis, I'm leaving Amazon links in the description to everything you need. The Mega Pi case, the M30 controller, and a Raspberry Pi, plus a couple extras like a power supply and SD card. You can build a nice little setup for under 100 bucks, and if you use Blast 16, you're going to have this beautiful front end here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.